hopefully with some degree of luck we'll be able to get the head bolts out of this thing uh, we've got two 10 millimeters down in the front we're gonna have to take care of those as well um, so we got 12 head bolts so we'll crack this one I'm just gonna start in the middle crisscross work my way out It hasn't broke yet. All right, back to the middle. Sending them up, snugging them back up so I don't risk damaging anything. This head's not being reused, at least not as far as I know. third bolt right here in the middle too. Missed that one. Okay, so all of the head bolts are loosened up to just slightly snug. Got these three 10 millimeter bolts out of here. Impact is the next thing to get replaced. Yeah, well, probably should have grabbed the magnet to pull these out with. There appears to be a washer or something at the bottom. I'm not sure. And then we got the two that hold the uh, guides in place through here oops sorry there's one of them came out with the sleeve. Long, long, long bolt. And let's get the rest of the guide out of here. in there for now so we don't lose this same thing over here oh that one comes right up and out okay cool something that doesn't come out of the monitor the tensioner all that well comes out of the top of the block no problem that is uh 
That's got quite a bit of quite a bit of wear to it. Now this one here, that was the one that this piece here fell out of, which I have no idea why it fell out, but the tensioner out of here also, seeing as we're going to be replacing this, we'll put the bolts back. Should take care of the rest of the bolts, although we got a sensors here, we gotta take these out yet. Let's see if we can uh, get that accomplished. Okay, there's one one sensor. Take cam sensor. I'm pushing out from inside as well. Set that one aside. Uh, other than the angle of the uh, plug coming out, they look identical. There's one bolting down inside, the other bolting down inside. We also have to detach this bracket. Those are 15s, 14s or 15s. Get these out of here. They are 15s, by the way. Just right, right onto the new head. All right, got a bolt here, a couple pieces here. We can switch these over after. on any of the bolts. So there's some silicone stuck in the thread on that one. I don't see anything else. Well, let's see what happens if we lift up on it. Ready for this? Get on this side. Right. We'll set that back down. We're going to tip this forward a little bit for the dramatic reveal. Hopefully, it doesn't fall off in the process. Hey, we have a dramatic pour. Okay. And the dramatic reveal. There's the head. All of the valves do look good. 
don't see any head gasket issues, but I do see a, a lot of rodent nesting, rodent food from uh, these cylinders here. Kicked up. I wonder if that had anything to do with it not turning over. Alrighty, let's get this head gasket off and get everything all cleaned up. see any failure points. We were okay. Anyway, now let's get all of this yuck cleaned up. All of this chop suey and nuts. also have pressed in sleeves. Sixteenths wrench for that crankshaft bolt. Just one at a time here. Another.
give her a good rinse. See what we got here. Wow. Look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Attention that the cylinder head has hydraulic lifters. They have been bled down at the factory. You may hear a lifter tick upon startup. Oh yeah, pretty much count on hearing that. Uh, cylinder head core must be returned complete. All components including camshafts, caps, lifters, buckets, valves, springs must be returned to receive full credit. So we are going to have to reassemble the, uh, the old head. Maybe we should probably try to use these zip ties with the, uh, the old head when I put the old head back in here. So I'm going to grab my jeweler screwdriver and pop those open. side by side. Let's take the new head gasket out of the package carefully. You don't want to bend it. We also want to make sure that when while we're, we're removing it, that it is not already bent. gasket lay it on. It'll only go on one way because of the dowel pins. Just set those right down on the dowel pins. And then we'll set the head down on top of it.
Let's double check one more time, make sure we got nothing left in the bottom of the head. Probably should grab a paper towel and wipe this off. Let's see, where is a paper towel I can wipe it off with? Take the cylinder head, and we're going to set the cylinder head down on top of it very, very, very gently. Normally I would use some guide bolts, but I think I can handle this without a guide bolt. Just like that. Everything's all clear all the way around. We're all good. And I start dropping in head bolts. And the uh, head bolts that we've got, I have no idea who uh, domestic gaskets, head bolts, made in Taiwan, they gave us the two small bolts that go on the sides, plus the, the top bolt that goes in the middle here, and we have all 12 of our head bolts. We'll start dropping these in. Let's we'll start with the tall skinny one. And then we'll move to the two small short ones. They already have a uh, thread lock on them. Figure out how I'm going to get these down in there. Without dropping them. down in. Let's grab all the head bolts. I'm just going to set these all in for now. I'm going to double check to see whether or not they need to be oiled or anything else. I'm just going to set them all in place for now. They gave us head bolts for a six cylinder engine. We got two extras. And yes, they're legitimately extras. Pour oil all over this one. Get ready to close it up. Spin those down and wipe them for a 